G'day guys and welcome back to City Skylines Down Under. We're going to continue work on this little town that we've been working on over the last few weeks and I'm really loving the way that this town is starting to take shape and you might be realizing that I'm just referring to it as a town because we haven't really named it yet. <laughs> we've been working on this for a little while now and the whole region is called Malabin but the actual town doesn't have a name, this little neighborhood that we've been working on. In Newcastle, this is called Stockton, and that's what we're pretty much referring to as we build. But this town in particular, I wanted to have a different name. So let me know some names in the in the comments below, and um, we'll take them into consideration in um, the episodes to come. And for today's build, we're going to be working on something pretty special. This is going to be a caravan park, and this is something that I've been wanting to build for a real long time in City Skylines mainly because there are such great assets on the workshop to assist with the building of this. Um, I'm going to be using quite a lot of props made by Dub who um, came out with a whole bunch of different camper vans and tents and a whole range of different assets to create a bit of a uh, camper van village and um, camping ground which is pretty cool because we didn't really have that um, a couple of months ago. So I've been just keeping in the back of my mind at some places within my builds where I can actually build something like this and I finally figured out a place within this town where I can actually place it down which is um, pretty much exactly where it sits within Stockton which is the town that I'm modeling off. But in terms of getting ideas for how caravan parks actually look and the different features there are within it. I was taking a lot of ideas from a drone flyer that I did a couple of months ago. So I'll be referring back to some drone footage um, every now and again as I build this, um, this caravan park. However, before I do get into a ramble about what I'm doing on screen, thanks to everybody who got in touch last episode about what I should be building for the main layout of the city within uh, Mullumbin. And it was some really great suggestions. I'm pretty much torn between building a large city and a small town because I haven't really figured out that part of it yet. And a lot of people are sort of suggesting to build something along the lines of a small city um, that is pretty classic around the east coast of Australia. Um, a lot of suggestions for places like uh, Darwin and places like Tassie, you know, lots of towns up and down there. But the main feature pretty much was people did want to see some sort of a skyline. People do really want to see, you know, some sort of a biggish CBD, which um, I would be pretty keen for too. So I'm going to be trying to take ideas from places like Wollongong and even Newcastle, which is where I'm basing it off. And also places like Port Macquarie and pretty much anywhere with a big-ish kind of skyline because um, I don't think many people wanted to see much of a big city kind of coming out of this series which I do totally understand and there was actually quite a lot of people from Brisbane who wanted to see a lot of uh, features from Brisbane being incorporated into this build which is um, quite interesting because I've only been to Brisbane a few times so that is a place that I'm probably going to have to fly over um, with Google Earth and just figure out a couple of features that I can put in. And it was also really nice to hear from people who don't usually comment in my videos. So um, thanks to everybody who did. And if you haven't already, please um, get in touch if you'd like to um, you know, introduce yourself, especially if you live in Australia and you're keen for a series like this. And even if you don't, get in touch if you haven't said hello um, yet because it's always um, nice to find out who is actually watching and um, enjoying the vids. So um, yeah, thanks for um, thanks in advance. So getting to what I'm doing on screen and I've just worked out how the entrance is going to look for this caravan park. I'm trying to think about the style of park that I'm going for and I kind of wanted this place to be a bit more on the older, smaller style of caravan parks. You know, you have these really big, massive ones with lots of different features and swimming pools and massive campsites and all these very nice, uh, very different styles of um, accommodation. However, this one in particular, I wanted to be a little bit smaller and a little bit, um, a little bit dingier than, uh, you know, maybe more of the flashier, bigger brand ones. This is probably like an independent 
in the, uh, like uh, independently owned Kyron Parks and um, probably because it is practically smack bang in the middle of the actual town it's probably been here for quite a good amount of time and by the way this is not the only Cameron Park that I'm placing down in this um, town I do actually build another one which I've already built and um, that's a much bigger one and it sits on the beach that'll be in the next episode so um you know get excited for that but for this one because I'm going for a smaller style campground I wanted um, quite a lot of wear and tear on the roads and um, you know a much smaller cramped style um, you know trying to fit in a lot of different uh, accommodation styles um, within a very small space so we have this entrance here and you know straight as you enter the actual caravan park there is this um, this office where you um, pay for your accommodation and um, you know they sort of tell you whereabouts you're going to be staying and um, yeah, that's pretty much just like a dirt road, a dirt gravel road, and um, you know, eventually I do sort of scuff up a lot of this asphalt to um, show that a lot of cars have been kind of coming in and out. By the way, this road that I've been placing down is the ploppable asphalt mod, and the reason why I've chosen to use that instead of an actual road is because I didn't want the roads to be indented into the ground. I wanted it to be sitting above it as if it's just been paved over the top. Um, and I wanted it to have a little bit of a different feel to the actual road that goes around the um, outer edge. And, um, you know, part of the accommodation, we've placed down these um, these uh, little cabins. And these cabins are pretty iconic within caravan parks within Australia. And I'd actually really love to know if the, this is similar to caravan parks um, around the world. So let me know in the comments below if this is sort of similar to ones within your country. And um, if you've seen, um, you know, campsites like this, you know, in America or the UK or, you know, anywhere else around the world, I'd be very um, interested to find out. You know, I'm trying to go for a very iconic sort of caravan park. Oh man, it, it's going to be so hard to record this episode without saying the word caravan park, like, multiple times. I'm going to try and find alternative words for it, but I, I don't see any way around it at this stage. Oh man, it's going to be, it's going to be a real struggle. So, um, these cabins um, are s really, really quite small and um, they sit underneath these trees that I feel like these trees are just classic caravan park trees and, um, you know, it, I have to place them around. It's, it's the feeling I get for, um, you know, when I go on holidays or something like that. And um, I'm also working on this site here. So, you know, actually, before I talk about the site, the way I'm laying out this site, this um, caravan park, is um, I'm trying to make it look like there's multiple areas for um, you know different styles of car um, different styles of um, accommodation. So um, you've seen me place down these cabins. I'm placing down now a place where you can uh, park your uh, caravan, and then there's um, also going to be multiple areas where people can um, pitch a tent within this area. And um, you know I'm also going to be placing down some different parks for people to be playing in for um, for children and um, trying to make the whole area quite um, family orientated and um, you know with lots of trees and lots of places to chill and a lot of places to um, you know have barbecues and um, picnics and stuff like that but um, I am also keeping the back of my mind that this is a much older style caravan park and there's probably not as many facilities as um, you know the bigger brands so also keeping that in the back of my mind so where those caravans sit, I've used these uh, driveway decals to paint down a bit of a concrete surface for the caravans to sit. This is pretty iconic for these areas because um, when you do um, drive, when you drive a caravan, you um, you need these sort of concrete spaces to um, you know rest your caravan on, and you know so I was trying to stick something like that down, and I think these concrete decals work pretty nicely as well. And, um, you know, keeping a bit of space for cars and people to um, place down gazebos and other things like that. You know, as, as I'm building in this area, I'm trying to imagine what each setup is like. You know, when you go camping and, you know, everyone has such unique styles of camping and, you know, you have the family that brings pretty much everything. They've got like a microwave and, you know, four gazebos and, you know, all these barbecue gear and, 
televisions and pretty much bring their entire house with them. And then you have some setups which is pretty much just people who have never really been camping before and they bring just a tent and you know they forget their chairs and they forget their umbrellas and they forget their you know pretty much every piece of camping gear so I'm trying to imagine the sort of setups that people have which was um, pretty fun it was pretty fun to um, imagine that and figure out where everything sits within it. You've also seen me place down a house and this house is the house that the people who own the caravan park live in and these houses are always some sort of rundown shack so um, I chose this shack because it's so iconic and it fits in so perfectly that I had to use it so um, you know that sits right next to the office where um, they'll probably be doing most of the work and and um, you know just trying to figure out you know what sort of car they drive and you know place it down the driveway and um, you know just placing out a couple of different bits and pieces to um, make it looked like they actually live in that house. Try not to go too overboard with the trees, though um, I do have quite a lot of trees in this site. I, um, I do tone them down just a touch because um, I felt like there was probably too much. But there are always um, generally some, you know, larger trees within these spaces because it means that, you know, there's a bit of um, natural shade going on. You know, especially when you're staying in a tent and that sun hits you first thing in the morning and it's just, it's an absolute killer. So, um, just placing down a whole bunch of trees for these guys so they don't actually fry in the morning. And, um... You know, I feel like these decals, these grass decals and these dirt decals are an absolute lifesaver for this site. I was um, a bit worried about how it was looking at first, but then using these decals really helped to create a lot of variation and, um, you know, a bit of differences within the site, which is um, pretty good. Have you noticed that I've now, like, changed my wording? <laughs> Rather than saying caravan park over and over again, I'm saying site. Uh, I'm learning, guys. I'm, I'm picking up things. So, um... Yeah, uh, pretty much the key to this uh, build is, you know, choosing what decals and um, what variations I can use so that there's not a huge amount of repetition. And um, I've used quite a lot of different colored decals rather than just well, the one textured road because, you know, a lot of these places don't have, you know, just one color of road around these areas. There's a lot of different layers, you know, and a lot of different extensions. So, you know, they probably build this main road when they first opened and a, a lot of these other roads have just been added on as um, extensions as, um, you know, the popularity has um, caused them to create more variations for um, campsites, and especially with, um, you know, the more larger style of caravans that are probably coming in these days. So, uh, you know, that's sort of my throw to that. And, um, again, I do actually build another caravan park in the next few episodes, and that is a much, it's a, it's a much larger site and a, um, a, a quite a different style. So, um, I'm pretty excited for you guys to see the two different styles that I go for. I like both of these sites that I build, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much just like two different styles, I guess. And I'm pretty excited for the new update um, for Park Life to be coming out um, in the next few weeks, which would be very exciting because it means that I could probably turn this whole area into a park and hopefully get a little bit more people walking around. And especially using this site as an actual park because it is, it's, it's for recreation. And at the moment, it's pretty much just for the eye candy, which a lot of my builds are pretty much just for. But I do get an extra buzz when I do know that it's in the game, it's being used for um, those, you know, for actual recreational um, things. So fingers crossed that update really um, helps me out. It's going to help me out a lot within a lot of my other builds, which I'm, um, you know, really, really excited for. It's one of the more excited updates I am um, for, you know, I, I'm never, what am I trying to say? I'm never excited for the updates, to be honest, because they are, they usually break the game and they stuff up all my mods and I can't play for a couple of weeks. This one in particular looks like it's going to be fantastic, so I am just hoping that it's going to be as great as I'm imagining and what um, the ads have showed it to me. And um, getting back to what I'm doing, I've placed down another area for cabins. These cabins are much older, they're much more worn down and I've been placing down a few fences as well just to 
might show that there is a bit of a divide between the accommodations as well. I've also placed down a couple more spaces for caravans and you know this actual caravan park is pretty um, pretty good for caravans and um, I feel like a lot of these people stay for a long period of time. There's a lot of big setups, a lot of different variations and I'm also placing down a whole bunch of trees just to um, create a lot of shelter. I don't keep a lot of these trees, I change, I chop and change between, chop, huh, get it. I chop and change between a lot of these trees because I um, I didn't want it to look like there was um, tons and tons of trees. I went camping not long ago actually and I, it was a ridiculously windy day and it was freezing cold and we, um, we set our tents below a tree and that's in like the camping world that's a bit of a no-no especially in windy weather because branches fall off and land on tents and as soon as I pitched that tent I was you know and I you know I was really relieved that we finally got it up because I didn't think we we're gonna get it up in that strong wind and then I realized that there was a tree right above us and it was just swaying like nothing else and I was really nervous and I was actually thinking about it when I was building doing this build and how it's probably not that realistic placing so many trees above all these um all these uh, campsites so um, I do remove quite a few trees just in case and um, you know for the final little part of this caravan park I am placing down a park where people are going to be uh, you know having barbecues and things like that I completely forgot to create a playground which is a, um, a massive mistake because playgrounds are sort of essential for caravan parks they um they keep the kids basically while um, the adults you know booze up and play Scrabble <laughs> that is pretty much like the go-to for uh, caravan parks and um, that is like the culture I know in Australia that is like the culture of um, when families go to caravan parks it's pretty much they you know get the kids into the playground and they go stay there and have have a ball or you know run wild go nuts like do whatever you like within this park and um, you know we'll see you later and then the families just sort of like sit around and drink booze and um, cook barbecues which is so lovely <laughs> it's I love going camping it's so much fun and um, I was feeling quite, uh, I don't know, I was feeling quite nostalgic when I was um, building this. It was a very nostalgic nostalgic build for me. And I think that's why I'm sort of curious to find out whether um, camping in your country is similar to camping in Australia. Or if you are Australian and you want to share your campground story, definitely uh, share it below because I feel like everyone's pretty much been um, in one of these sites before. Uh, now I feel like I'm saying the word sites too much. <laughs> It's it's a nightmare doing commentary guys. You have no idea So um, yeah pretty much finished with actually building this campground and I'm placing down a whole bunch of tre uh, Not trees placing down a whole bunch of cars Which helps to show that there's a bit of life within this campground because otherwise it has this feeling of well a lot of um, City skyline builds have a feeling that it's pretty much dead but I feel like placing down a whole bunch of cars shows that people are here. It gives the feeling, gives the impression that people are here. And I also placed down a whole bunch of event spawners um, around the campground to um, encourage people to walk around and come here. And which is really cool because people actually then walk on the road and, um, you know, walk around. And it looks like there's a bit of life involved, which is great. And I've also placed down these speed bumps, which is um, very important because pretty much as soon as you drive into a campground, the speed limit's like five kilometers an hour and there's like people all over the roads and, you know, it's sort of important to keep people at a low speed, especially when there's so many people walking around drinking beer and um, playing around. So um, that is sort of of huge importance. So, um, you know, place that down. And I think that pretty much makes this whole build that's the moment for me that made it feel like it's actually a actual campground. And um, for this last, for this last, <laughs> for this last little part of this build, I um, I work on just the surrounding uh, environment for this um, area. So this actual area is um, pretty much just suburbs, a lot of houses, and um, you know a lot of. Um, neighborhoods around here so I cut out a whole bunch of uh, me placing that down because it's well it's kind of repetitive and a little bit boring so <laughs> I figured you don't want to see it 
but you know essentially I'm just um, you know copying a whole bunch of the houses that I've already placed down to um, you know keep the same theme going on and I'm um, using the trees just to um, create more more variations of um, pretty much the same sort of area and um, that works really nicely I use this method all the time in my builds and um, you know, especially when you create buildings within Asset Editor, it just makes it so much easier to um, create realistic neighborhoods. And if you are interested in me showing you how to do something like that, um, I can whip together some sort of tutorial uh, sometime in the future and um, show you how I've done that with all my assets because I have recorded a few of um, me doing that. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if um, you're keen. And just for this last little bit of the time lapse, I'm working on this little block and I've, because it is such a weird shape of a block, I've dedicated most of it to this housing commission and um, this little neighborhood pretty much and it's just it's like one little driveway and pretty much cuts most of this build from the time lapse because again, it's um, it was kind of a little bit boring. But I've left the detailing in because the detailing does look pretty nice and it's all in the cinematics at the end so um, it's just around the corner so don't go away. That'd be nuts. <laughs> so stick around. Thanks guys for tuning in for this episode. It was a fun build. And um, in the next one, it's, um, man, it is so, so nostalgically Australia. You really do not want to miss it. If you do want early access to my videos, jump onto my Patreon. Any, um, any donations seriously helps out so much. So thanks to everybody who has already jumped onto that. Liking this video is also a great way to show your support and comments below is something that I do love to read on a daily basis so I'm um, definitely get in touch. But that is pretty much it for this episode. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.